Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and welcome to Skyward Sword, but it is live, for good reason. That reason is listed in the description if you don't already know, but you probably should, considering how few people are, you know care, or are subscribed, or anything. So, uh... This is where I was up to in terms of my playthrough before everything got screwed over. I'm about to enter the second temple, and the only main difference from my recorded playthrough is that my wallet is full. Also, I'm a dumbass, in the last episode, I said I got all of the accessible goddess cubes but in the area, but I just forgot this one existed. So I lost a huge amount of footage to me being a dumbass. So, this is, this is what's happening. I'm entering the fire temple, or earth temple it's technically called. Skyward Sword in HD. Oh boy. Also, wooden shield in a fire area. Top tier idea. I don't see anything going wrong with this at all. And here we get the bomb bag. Led's bomb bag. Better go and give it back to him. Unless... You know, he tells me to keep it because it's the dungeon item or something. But what are the odds of that happening? I'm not letting you borrow my bag, though. Nope, I'm giving it to you. Just don't blow yourself up. Cool. If you run out, you can pick them up and put them in the bag. That's how that works. You just pick it up, put it in the bag. 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 Pick it up, realize you're out of bag space and throw it away. <laughs> but I got the dragon sculpture. Wow. Now I can unlock the boss door down there. Does this feel like a trap to anyone else? Feels like a trap to me. Oh no, Indiana Jones, boulder chase sequence. Ah, I'm in so much danger right now. I did it. I survived. Wow. So, um, on my recorded playthrough, I actually took some dumb damage to Lazalfos before this fight. So I was on one heart for this boss fight. And I did it perfectly because it's one of the easiest bosses in the game. But, you know, there was a lot more tension to it than this. This is going to be nothing, really. The, the, this boss fight's a breeze. Big doors open. Open salami. Oh. The door shut behind me. Oh no, it's almost as if that happens with every boss fight in the franchise. Huh. That boulder rolling through a nice dragon rib cage. Nothing suspicious about that. Master, I detect Zelda's aura, aura in the surrounding area. I know how to speak. I detect an especially strong reaction from this chain. I calculate the probability Zelda was bound by it recently at 95%. That's, that's a very high percentage. I surmise Zelda was somehow able to escape and proceed along this path. I suggest we continue with all possible speed. Sure. I guess. Hang on, I'm just gonna... Just gonna pick it up, put it in the bag. Pick it up, put it in the bag. 
pick it up, put it in the bag, pick it up, put it in the bag, pick it up, put it in the bag. Cool. And now, what could possibly go wrong? I can just walk out of this room, right? Nope. I'm stopped by our fancy demon friend, Girahim. Oh, it's you. Let me see. No, that's not it. This is so very embarrassing, but I seem to be at a loss for your name. Not that it matters, really. To tell you the truth, I'm feeling a bit frustrated, and right now I just need someone to vent to. I heard my underlings had finally captured the Spirit Maiden, so of course I rushed over here. What can I say? I was excited. Flustered, even. But what did I find when I arrived? That agent of the goddess? She had once again... You see, what I'm trying to say is... That goddess serving dog escaped with the girl! I must have the spirit maiden in order to resurrect my master. I must have her. Hmm, I got a little carried away there, didn't I? I don't deal well with complications to plans I've laid out so carefully. It's a character flaw of mine. Ah, but something good can still come from this day. I've had all this bottled up anger smoldering inside me, and now I can release it. There's someone special I'd like you to meet. Oh, don't be shy. I need to vent all this unhealthy anger, and your agony is such a great stress reliever. It won't take more than a few moments with my friend before you're charred to a satisfying crisp. And let me tell you, that will put a spring in my step. Sure, buddy. Yep, th this thing. The boulder? Eh, it's just an ordinary boulder. I don't see how I'm gonna get burned by it. Oh, what's that? It has a molten core? Ah, that's fine. Oh, it has legs? Ah. Pyroclastic Fiend Scaldera. The easiest fight in the game. Like, seriously. Just wait for it to stop being on fire. Wow. Never mind, I messed that up. But you wait for it to not be on fire, you throw a bomb, it falls all the way back down. Then, you King Dodongo it, so it eats the bomb. And you hit the eyeball. That's, that's the whole fight. You just wait for it to not be on fire, and then you hit it. Ow. Doesn't help if I hit myself with my own bomb. Maybe I'm taking this fight a little too casually. Like, it's fine to take this fight casually, but maybe I shouldn't be screwing around. Oh, he gave me a double. I love when that happens. When he just breathes again before it's, you know, his time. Oh. I was so scared that I'd hit myself with my own bomb again. Come on. And now he does this thing, where he goes over you, and guess what? Oh no, he's homing in on my position, if only I could dodge. Because I'm a speedy boy. Man, I'm really low on bombs. This... This better be the last one. If this isn't the last one, I'm gonna have to run all the way up to the top to pick up more bombs. And that would be annoying. At this point, I could totally just hit the eye without bombing him. 
but, you know, what's done is done, and this is done. Goodbye, Skaldera. You're the easiest fight in the game, but I still took three hearts of damage to you like an idiot. Considering two hearts of which was my own bomb, it's kind of fair. And... Oh. Would you look at that? Heart container. That is useful, considering I am nearly dead. But onwards and upwards, to save my best friend, Zelda. I came all this way just to save her, and I'm sure there'll be zero complications to that plan. Ugh. Hey, she's playing that song from... You know, the- the wing ceremony. Nice. Hey- hey Zelda, who's your friend? I saw her earlier, but we didn't talk that much. Are you- Hey, hey you can stay in chat before you step into the light, you know? Just- cause- cause I'm here now! Hey, I came to save you? Looks like you- you escaped already, but... Yeah! Link! Yes, please, let's... What... what are you doing? You cannot go to him, your grace. Remember what we discussed. Restrain yourself. Focus on the task at hand. Well, she can talk before whatever the task you're mentioning is. She doesn't have to go right now, does she? Zelda? Zelda, come on, no- I- I have to go. I'm sorry, Link. Zelda, wait, I- Fine. Wherever you're going, I'll find you later. Right now, I would like to go after you right now, actually. That would be- Um- Sorry, who are you again? It took you far too long to get here. Looking at you, I fear the goddess is mistaken in her choice of agents. If this failure is any indication, you have no hope of defending her grace from those who seek to assail her. I'm too late? Do my words anger you, boy? Yeah. Do my words sting? Let them. If I had not come when I did, your Zelda would have already fallen into the hands of the enemy. I know I got those two words backwards, but it doesn't matter. The truth of the, uh, the truth of it is, you were late. You were late, and you failed to protect her. Yeah, so I spent a bit of time screwing around in the sky, but I sent Zelda ahead to learn more of the fate in which she is destined to play a part. Listen well, Chosen One. If you wish to be of help to her grace, you must summon a shred of courage and face the trials laid out before you. Only when you've conquered the trials will you be of use to Zelda. No sooner am I understood. Yes, lady, I... I get it. I was late. I need to be better as a hero, sure. Well, nothing I can do now but press onwards. Okay, take the sword, swing it skyward, and now, what do we do? Another message from the goddess telling me to go to a new area, am I right?
Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. From the edge of time I guide you, the one destined to carry out the goddess's mission. The spirit maiden who descended from the clouds has passed through the earth spring and makes her way to a sacred, uh, fated place. Nearly said sacred and I don't know why. The parched desert of Lanayru, that is where the Chosen will pass through the gate of time into a distant world. Gate of time? Lanayru? Sure. And... You got the Amber Tablet. Its description re reads exactly the same as the other two you've gotten so far. Heavy stone surface feels old. Zelda? I will save you. No matter what. Come on, Fi. We've got work to do. And sailcloth. We land safely. What's up, Fi? A report, Master Link. We have arrived at Lanayru Mine. Yep, we sure have. Not the desert itself, but a mine just outside the full desert. This arid region was transformed into a desert over the course of several hundred years. Cool. So... Thanks. Gotta love that it does a zoom in of the map every time. My projections show that Zelda must have travelled through this area. Cool. Anyway, but look at that big old rock out there. That, that big purple stone. I wonder what use that has. Hmm. Well, the camera sure is drawing a lot of attention to it. Nyeh. Oh, wow. It changed color. That's not very impressive. Oh, it's changing the area around it? These things are coming to life? The minecarts float? What? It's almost as if... Some sort of change in time has happened. I mean, Fi did say this wasn't previously a desert. Where did you come from? We're here collecting time shift stones and transporting them to Lanayru mining facility. Stay away from the blue stones, Zerp. They're too dangerous for humans. I am able to confirm that a time shift has occurred within this space. Any impact to the blue stones creates a sustained temporal disruption field in the st surrounding area. Readings show that this area is in a past time state. Magnesis was in Skyward Sword. Is this Sheikah technology? Well, quite possibly, considering that, uh, that is basically the Sheikah eye symbol on the stone. Who knows? That's a theory for another day. Anyway, I saved this robot dude. What's up, my robot dude? Thank you, Zert. If you hadn't come along, they would have sucked all the electricity out of me, Verm. Oh, look at that, Zert. You have a beetle. It appears to be an older model of Lanayru fabrication. As thanks for saving me, I will upgrade that for you, Zwoop. Give it here for a second. Fwing! Dun 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 dun. 
beetle upgraded. You got the hook beetle. The big pincers allow you to pick up and carry things with it. You can also press the L to look down before you drop your cargo. Be careful out there. Thank you, Mr. Robot Dude. Anyway. What's up, Gorko? Good to see you, bud. Seems like you pop up everywhere. Though I am one to talk. Anyway, bud, there is something I am dying to tell you. It's the discovery of the century. This is a sacred place known as the Temple of Time. I could not believe my eyes when I saw a human who lives on the legendary Isle of the Goddess. You, you know that I'm also from... It wore clothes just like the one written about in the ancient manuscripts. Because she was wearing a costume for a ceremony, and it looked just like you, bud. It came with another person, and they entered the temple. I wanted to chase after them, but... But then there was an explosion all of a sudden, and the entrance... Well, you can see for yourself, bud. I do not think we are getting past this mess. I just wish we could find out what is happening on the other side. That was scary, Verm. Thanks for helping me. Bzz. This is the Temple of Time. Within it is the Sacred Gate of Time, made by the Goddess. Bzz. It is my job to patrol outside the temple, Verm. If you want to reach the Gate of Time, you will need to pass through that door. Bzz. Hmm? You need another way in, Pooweep. Well, Lanayru Mining Facility and the Temple of Time are connected underground. Lanayru Mining Facility is right here. Hit this time shift stone. And all of this stuff that I'm doing right now... Technically, I should be talking to a different guy to, you know, learn that I am capable of doing this, but... I don't have time for that. One part unlocked. I need two more parts before I can unlock the Lanayru mining facility itself. Not there. That's not where I want it. I can bowl it in, but honestly that's more dangerous than golfing it in. And I am so upset that by taking out my sword, I swung at it the wrong way. Or, I, I just wanted to take out my sword, but I fully hit it and wasted some damage. Well, at least the little guy is good as a battery. Power node number two, the lightning one. Now to just go find that fire one. Power node number dose. Inject. Number dose. It's number trace. God, I'm an idiot. But that's done. All three of them have been found. Master, go to the generator. Thank you, Fi. Hooray. Now we can turn on this generator. The code is based on the position you found each of these power nodes in relative to this area, if you check your map. Or relative to your map. But, you know, I just know the code off by heart. I've played this game too many times. Water is to the left, lightning's at the top, and fire's down right. But here it is! The Lanayru Mining Facility. In other words, Temple Number 3. Ah oh boy. I'm gonna have a little sit down before I pop in there. You know, nothing major. And in we go! Another day, another dollar. Another temple, another... deadly boss to fight later. And I'm gonna try and time opening my chest here to be cool. 
Ah, damn. Way too slow. I wanted to try and freeze frame the enemies while they were falling, but that one hit the ground already and the other one was too high still. And now to use our brand new item. The Blowinator 9000. It, it really blows. The gust bellows really blow. Sometimes I am quite competent, sometimes I am very much not. Now we open this. Hang on, it's this way. Got it. Almost as if I remembered which way it goes, thanks to having played this recently. Something I love though, this door fades out from the pretty looking past to the worn out present. It, it's great. And now... I'm not going to skip this cutscene, thank you, game. There's something in the sand. Something that could defeat me. Whatever could it be? It's a big old scorpion. It must have been the one that laid the scorpion babies around here. Thousand year arachnid, Mulderac. Okay, Mulderac, let's get, get her done just gonna skyward strike that claw as much as possible until you open your middle eye. Your third eye, if you will. I... I don't know why I thought of that pun. Fun fact! On my originally recorded playthrough of this, I actually died to Moldorak. Again, the first few bosses of this game are pretty easy. Dying to any of them isn't really acceptable. Maybe gear him if you don't know how to use your shield against him properly. Because shielding against gear him is truly the way to go, but some people do not. Come on. Damn. Get back up here. We can see you there, you know. You're not hiding from me. Oh, I got the shield bash in there somehow. I was really expecting not to get that, just... Just because, uh... I have poorly timed that shield bash several times before. Well, in my recorded run, I poorly timed the shield bash several times. I poorly timed it once there, and took some damage to my shield, but otherwise, not a sweat. Woo! I did it. Mulderac. Thousand year arachnid? More like thousand year door to your defeat. You see, that's a Paper Mario reference. Thousand Year Door. Big brain. <laughs> and the room drains of sand, which looks pretty cool until right about... here, where it just fades out. I don't know why. Why does it just fade out? It should... Because they added grates in the ground so it'd make sense for the sand to drain here. But they don't show it draining towards here, they just fade it out. It's a little weird. Anyway, time to go meet up with Zelda again. It's been, what, an hour since I last saw her? 
done. If only I had a way to make this minecart move. Sorta of wishing I went back to Skyloft to get the, uh, Beetle Speed upgrade. Any second now. And here we go. The passage from the mining facility to the Temple of Time. Lined with large gold statues of the robots saluting presumably Hylia herself. And Link has a very angry face in this minecart for some reason. Maybe he does that in all minecarts? I'm not sure, but he looks very unamused by all of this grandeur. Anyway, into the Temple of Time, which is found in the Lanayru region, which isn't where it normally is. The beautiful singing of my best friend Zelda. Hey, I caught up. You literally teleported here and I caught up. Oh, come on. Another interruption? Gear him. You s- Damn it. I can't protect Zelda with that wall there. You son of a gun. Impa! Your Grace, quickly, to the gate! Link! Link, here! You'll need this where you're going! It's dangerous to go alone! Take it! You got the goddess's harp, but there's no time to admire it. Go! Now! Looks like Girahim lost concentration on his barrier as he broke Impa's. You haven't won yet, you dipshit! Link. Am I late this time? Callback. No, you're right on time. Link. You must go now. Return to the old woman at the sealed grounds. Tell her what happened here. She will know where you must go. And know that we will definitely- I'll definitely see you again! This isn't goodbye, Link! I promise! Good luck following them now, Girahim. Now you've done it, Link. I blame myself. I should have reprimanded you the last time we met, but instead I was soft. I'd take pleasure in punishing you, but I have no time for recreation. But next time I'll do more than just- I'll make the affair so excruciating you'll deafen yourself with the shrill sound of your own screams. God, that text is too fast to read aloud. You can definitely read it in your head, but... Reading that one aloud? Ugh. Especially with my Girahim voice. A report, Master. I can no longer detect Zelda's aura. Low battery in my right Joy-Con, eh? The moment the gate was destroyed, Zelda's presence disappeared from my readings. You can no longer douse for her, not that you were doing that anyway. Zelda's companion instructed you to meet with the Ancient One in the Sealed Grounds. This corresponds with the records in my memory. I propose we travel to the Sealed Temple.